Oh my queen. Oh, it's perfect size. Okay. <laughs> Is it still Bela approved? Wait till I open it. Goodness gracious. Oh my queen. Hello, hello, and welcome back to Freya and Bayla's channel. My name is Marissa. I am the dog mom of this channel. Freya is hanging out in the back, but this is Bayla, our golden retriever puppy, who's getting so freaking big. Oh my goodness. And she's so interested in what the heck I got in all these bags and everything. We're doing an updated little puppy haul. This is everything that I've gotten since getting Bayla. I did like a second puppy haul, if you're curious of like what I got before getting Bayla, but then since getting her, this is everything that we've gotten. So I think like two or three months worth, because she's almost five months at the point of filming this video so let's dive in one of the first things that we got basically right after we got her was her harness and leash are you trying to eat the f you can't golly wait till i open it goodness gracious i wanted to grab the leash too but this has already been through so much it definitely looks very much worn and used this is what she wears every single day i love it and i definitely want to rebuy it once she gets a little bit older whenever we know like what size she's gonna be but it is a very basic harness i just like it because it's like a little tie-dye like pink and orange like sherbert kind of vibe i will link everything that i can down below or at least let you guys know where we got everything and this is from PetSmart, and then it has the matching leash with it it is top paw brandon and i absolutely love it it's so cute however it did not come with this poo bag holder i did buy this separately and i just so happened to find one that matched the color scheme that i'm so happy about but this is from wild one they have like their own little pink and orange set so i honestly might buy that one when she gets older rather than like this little rinky dink one i don't know because freya does have a wild one set it's like the purple lavendery color i absolutely love it we'll see but this poo bag holders from wild one and then the leash and the collar is from pet smart and she wears this every single day it is one that we use all the time and it's super cute we haven't used this one yet but i did get a two foot lead that is pink unfortunately it's like a different shade of pink but also this might just be newer and brighter than the other one but i got this because freya also has one it's like a traffic lead and i use it whenever i take freya with me to like farmers markets maker markets and stuff like that that way she doesn't have the six foot range that she normally does with a leash you cannot have that thank you because i don't want her six feet away from me i want her right next to me and that's really all she can do so walking through crowds and whatnot so these come in handy for that and with spring rolling around i'm so excited to take her to like her first little farmer's market so this is gonna be so cute i'm happy that she has one now because freya's gets used all the time a couple of things we have already opened but i'm still gonna show you we got some fruitable treats the pumpkin and blueberry flavored we have like two different kinds of treats in one of these other bags but these are one of my favorite of like the dried and not like the wet kind of like trainee treaty ones bella oh my goodness you said good girl yummy huh paw yes good girl oh you got a new toy bela specifically picked this one out in the checkout line of PetSmart. it was like hanging out and she like stole it from the little thing so this was hers it does have a squeaker come get it you can have it now okay Something that I have introduced into Freya's like daily routine now is doing a plaque off dental care treat. She used to do greenies and like whimsies. I heard mixed reviews about them, but I have heard nothing but good things about plaque off. So I decided to get some to try out with Freya. And these are the peanut butter and banana flavored because she literally loves peanut butter. But I give one of these every day to Freya because if you guys watch the first puppy to second puppy haul, I bought like, you know, toothbrush kind of stuff for Freya and I've never used it. I do need to be a better dog mom and like brush her teeth but this is a good start to take care of her you know gums and whatnot we got a new banana bone the dogs have been chewing them up and once they get chewed so much they really shouldn't be using them anymore and all of the banana bones are at that point where they are like very much done you come up here come on, come on. you get first chews <laughs> good girl yeah we chew bones you chew bones like a good girl freya and bela have been eating out of their slow feeders quite often so i've been trying to do different toppers and freeze them and just make meal times more mentally enriching and whatnot and so we got some pumpkin to add as like a topper for some of the slow feeders that we do pumpkin is really good if your doggo struggles with like hard poos and they often have soft poos it's good for like the digestive tract all of that kind of stuff this is a pumpkin like super blend as well so it has some like apple spinach tomato ginger like other things than just pumpkin on to the next bag i got this toy for bela because 
there's a backstory from her breeder everybody in her litter was named after some sort of a candy and so Bela's original name was jelly bean and so I saw this bag of jelly beans you know like jelly bean esque but it's a puppy belly and 20 belly rubs instead of like the jelly belly you know so I thought I would get it because I just want to like hold on to some jelly bean and the back is really cute because it says serving size is four belly rubs and there's 25% face licks 100% rollovers 75% leg shakes and it's just super like obviously cute and jelly bean we got another freaking toy oh my goodness she got so many toys <coughs> she stopped chewing her bone she also picked this toy out at the pet store <coughs> is it still bela approved she said i want my new bone you want these Oh yeah. The cool thing about this toy, which I was excited that she also liked it, is that there's two toys in one. It's called a newbie or nubby buddies, but there's like a spiky ball on the inside. So whenever she rips like the fox part of it off, there's a ball on the inside that she gets to play with. So two toys for the price of one, whenever she inevitably chews it up. We do have obviously a golden retriever, right? Right now, the same token of she's, you know, chewing everything but a bone. She's also retrieving everything but like a ball and things that she's supposed to retrieve. So we're trying to get her away from like carrying socks around the inevitable golden retriever thing so we got her her first little tennis ball to like play around with and see if she'll chase oh this is a good squeaker oh my god oh it's perfect size see we'll play fetch in a second in my first puppy to second puppy haul i showed the original like shampoo that we had used and we did use that all the way through but we had to buy new dog shampoo and i ended up getting a tea tree oil and aloe vera doggy shampoo instead of like the cherry kind of flavor something that we are literally already almost out of because like i said we did open and use some of these things before the haul we already need to like re-up and buy but we got some salmon oil for the dogs again as like toppers put in the slow feeders add to the food salmon oil is really good for their joints their heart their coat their paws all around super awesome for some doggos and they have been loving like the taste of it and on top of their food so we need to get some more of that already last bag this is what we just got today actually like i said we have two hard treats that i really like i love the from crunchy o's and the fruitables is what i typically give if i'm looking for like the hard treats i do love zooks like the minis and stuff for like a wet training treat but these ones are super awesome we got the peanut butter jammer flavor we're just finishing up i think it was like our apple and pumpkin bag right now so had to get more this morning what kind of leads into the rest of this haul from what we got today which is right next to me behind me in these we got new doggo food Food scoops because Freya cannot have chicken however Naya and Bela can and I just don't want to get anything confused so Freya's scoop will be this white one and then we'll have two chicken scoops that way nothing touches the non-chicken food everything stays separate I talk about this on my personal channel I hate whenever I need to go grocery shopping but I also need to get all new like toiletry items because I feel like that's when things get really expensive you know just groceries aside and then i have to buy shampoo conditioner deodorant toothpaste all in the same go that's how i felt today because bela and freya both ran out of food i had to re-up on both at the same time that never ends well with the wallet you know but while we were already just on the kick of buying new food and spending money we decided to upgrade just food system for the doggo so again we got new scoops that way nothing gets confused chicken stays away from the non-chicken we re-upped on bela's puppy food she is eating origins large breed puppy food and this does have chicken in it i tried for the life of me to find a non-chicken large breed puppy food and i'm almost certain it doesn't exist i feel like every just puppy food in general also has chicken in it somewhere even if it's a lamb or beef flavor if you look at the ingredients there's like chicken meal chicken something chicken fat whatever that's why we have to keep everything separate from freya's food so this is what she's eating and then and Freya needed a re-up on her food as well. And Freya is on Akana. And she's eating the freshwater fish recipe. So no chicken in here. But of course, this is for adult doggos. So you can't have it. You can't have it. And then like I said, while we were at it, we decided to get new bins for like the dog food and everything. This is now a three doggo household. And our little coat closet over here does not fit three like these because obviously they're different sizes this one's just like broken in general so we just thought it was time to get new bins to hold all the dog food keep it all organized and be able to fit everything in the closet so we got these these are little stackable dog food bins these ones are from pet co it's a part of their every a series and honestly i'm very excited because this will fit a lot easier in our little coat closet by the door we're able to access all the dog food without having to unstack just all around so much better one she said it smells so good out here mm -hmm. 
<laughs> if this was Freya, Freya would be jumping in there. She would've been like, vroom, face first. Here's two. Look at how well this fits. We might wanna move some out of the way, but for now, this works perfectly. We have Freya's on top with the white scoop. Bay lives in the middle, blue scoop, because we got chicken. And then we have Naya's at the bottom. This is so much better than like working with a broken one and then too big of a one. Hello, hello. I have no idea what happened to my outro. I guess I did not film one because this wonderful man right here edited today's video and told me that I did not have an outro. So I hope you guys enjoyed. I was really excited to show you everything that we got. I'm so happy with the new like food organization and whatnot. It has been like a game changer for that little closet area. Highly recommend. And we've had to hide the fox toy from Freya because Freya would chew this up in 0.3 seconds. We're trying to let Bela enjoy the toy she picked out, but Freya just chews up everything in her path. But if you're new here and you want to see more dog vlogs, more dog hauls, upcoming training videos, all the pup dates and whatnot, you can subscribe down below because there will be weekly videos every single Friday on this channel. But if you didn't know, I also have a personal channel. So if you want to see like me and us and the dog goes also just in everyday life, you can follow me on my personal channel. You can subscribe to that one as well. But thank you guys so much for watching. I love you so much. Bye.